Hi Cooney Pirates. Today we're going to practice or start double digit subtraction. I know you've been dying to try this. So I'm going to show you how one way, remember this is always just one or two ways to be thinking about double digit subtraction. So when you have a number like 38 and you want to take away 22, like I have $38 and I spent 22 of them at the store, I want to know how much I have left. This is how we can figure it out. We've learned tall T's. They're a little bit different for subtraction, but 38 take away 22. Now I know moms and dads do a different thing they call it borrowing. We kind of are borrowing, but we're using what we borrow. So here's our tall T. And we only, watch this, it's so tricky. So 38, 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Wow. And guess what? This one. I'm just going to write like this, take away 22. Because if I use the dots on 22, I'm going to get confused and do addition. I do it every time, trust me. So this is going to remind me that this is take away. Take away is subtraction. And the answer to the subtraction problem is called the difference. So we're going to find the difference between 38 and 22. Now, here we're going to take away 2. Oh, look. I have more than two, that's going to be easy. One, two. And I'm going to take away two tens. One, two. So let's figure out the answer to 38 take away 22. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six left, which is true. Eight take away two. Two from eight is six. And three, take away two, we have one left. So three, subtract two, is a one. What's our answer? Yeah, 16, awesome. Wanna try another one? Okay. Hmm, where'd my little rag go? We can't try another one. I don't have the rag. What do I tell you about rubbing it on your clothes? Don't do it, it's a bad idea. Well, I just did. Let's do another subtraction. Um, 56 take away 25. Okay. Tall T. Can you see it? Okay, when we use our place value strategy for subtraction, we draw 56 because we have 56. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Now, we are going to take away 25. Okay, so we have 6 and we're going to take away 5. That's going to work right there, just like this. And we have two tens, so we need to take away two tens. Awesome. Okay, so six take away five is one, and three take away two. Oops, five take away two is three. Six take away five is one, five take away two is three tens. Okay, awesome. That's it for a practice of subtraction. This was double digit subtraction, but tomorrow we'll try it with regrouping.